Thank you so much for joining me in my cozy little crafting corner. My name is Christina. Welcome to Sprinkle of Liquid Sunshine, where I just talk about anything crafty that I might be doing. Um, if you are on Instagram, you can follow me along on my crafting journey, also at Sprinkle of Liquid Sunshine. Today is my second episode. <laughs> And I don't have a whole lot that I have finished since the last episode. There's a few things that I have worked on a little bit. Um, mainly, I have sort of a review comparison of something new that I purchased this week. Um, so, yeah, I don't have anything finished, but I will actually talk about these are finished. Um, I made these earrings. They are rose gold with sunstone, which is the Oregon rock. And this is uh, something I showed last time, but I'm wearing it because it's my favorite. It's a um, crocheted shawl that I did last year, finished it last year. Um, for the Rose City Yarn Crawl. It is a pattern by, let me get her name here, Lorinda Reddig, and you can purchase this on Ravelry. It's called Sandpiper's Wing, and it was a really fun crochet pattern to follow. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to talk about first is a, a little oopsie that I did last week not too big I was maybe just a tad nervous and I froze maybe just a little <laughs> but I had shown these um, fingerless mitts that I am knitting right here and I said that I had used Judy's magic cast on well these are not socks <laughs> so there's not any way that these could be Judy's magic cast on, but I magic loop two at a time. <laughs> um, the yarn that I'm using, Patton's Croy Sock Yarn, is really nice. And I think, let's see, the color Purple Haze is the color. 50 grams, super fine. Uh, four ply. 75% washable wool and 25% nylon so I didn't get too much further and I don't know if I can get close enough I just started making a little thumb hole I'll just stick my hand in here real quick so I got the top done and I started my thumb hole I only have a few more rows to go I'm just starting um, I just back and forth um, purling a row back and then knitting back around so not too much progress that is because I have been hard at work trying to create a hat pattern and cowl matching cowl set which I'm not going to show because I've been frogging it and going back and redoing it so it might not look the same when I actually release the pattern. Um, the other thing that I had shown last week, last, it was just Sunday, I think, yeah, um, was the cardigan that my friend Michaela over at Hooked in a Flash, you need to go watch her show. She just uh, had one tonight, I believe. Yes, it was just tonight or earlier today. So, we, I've gotten a few rows done on there, making decent progress. It's, you know, very large, so it's going to take a while, I know. Uh, the other thing that I actually, <laughs> I have had, I think it would be considered a UFO, maybe. I haven't worked on it for probably a long time, <laughs> maybe six or more months, but, um, I will be finishing it one of these days. I have all the yarn and everything, and it's it's actually fairly large already. Um, and that is, that's it, I think. But the, yeah, that is 
is the front. So this is called the, I wrote everything down this week because I wanted to remember the name. Okay, this is the Study of Texture Afghan. And I did download the pattern, but I'm also following a tutorial on the crochet, through the crochet crowd on YouTube, which is really nice. And um, he's very easy to follow, but I absolutely love texture. So this is like the perfect blanket for me. And it's hard to see, there we go. We got all, each section is like a whole new pattern. And I am using just all sorts of colors of Heartland yarn. <sighs> Heartland yarn is by Lion Brand. Um, let me pull out a skein here. Heartland by Lion Brand. And uh, this is 100% acrylic. It's a four weight yarn. Um, this one that I have is called Glacier Bay. Uh, I don't have a list of all the other colors that I'm using, but I will say that I may have purchased possibly every colorway that Heartland came in. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe. And I am proceeding to use almost every single color in this afghan, and it is so soft, so nice to work with. Um, problem. <laughs> Recently, I knit, uh, I think it's leaf, it's called the leaf top pattern. It's um, a shirt, free on Ravelry. So I uh, crocheted it, um, I knit it up. I ran out of, not this colorway, a different one, kind of a burgundy color. I think it was, I think it's Badlands. Um, ran out, went and grabbed another skein from um, Michael's, uh, not Michael's fault, <laughs> but apparently Lion Brand has completely, and I mean completely, changed uh, colorways in the Heartland line. So much so that, uh, yeah, I will have to show that my sweater at a later day. It is in timeout currently because, well, it needs to be. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. Timeout is a place that I'm sure, you know, projects go for a lot of people. Okay, so, um, yeah, I think think oh oh okay so we are to the purchases portion because I don't have any other finished objects and this is mostly about um, one of the purchases that I made um, oh let me get a little sippy here so I can talk again it is evening so I'm having a little little tiny drinky drink um, today I went to Michael's I was, uh, I noticed that they had soft and shiny on sale in their ad. I think it was $2.99, so I wanted a few more colors. <laughs> well, I wasn't the only one, because when I got there, it was a lot of beige and creams and whites. <laughs> and colors that I already had, or colors that I would not use. So, one that I haven't had before which is kind of pretty it's kind of shiny it's shiny because it's you know soft and shiny it's really pretty it, my <laughs> my daughters were with me and one of them loves pink she says oh it's pink and my other daughter she loves purple she says no it's purple well I think they're both right I think it's a little pinky purpley and it's really really soft um, medium four weight for that also and which if anyone's used it, it it's very light. It's a light four weight. I mean, yeah. So this colorway is 
uh, wisteria and this has 311 yards which isn't too bad you can get a couple hats out of that um, my daughter did spot something that she really liked so of course I'm gonna get it for a project for her and it, it, it reminds me of a unicorn it really does it's really pretty I actually it's really pretty. I really like it myself honestly <laughs> I might you know have to get another skein of it this is also soft and shiny and it's really blowing out here I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but there we go soft and shiny it's really pretty that color is pretty much what it is this one though um, it only has 207 yards and I'm sure you know like most yarns is because it's you know variegated uh, the color is called Teenage Dream. It totally reminds me of like the 90s. Oh yeah, it's very 90s. It's really pretty. It's soft as the other one. And then um, <laughs> something I, I've been searching for and they finally got it, which is not soft and shiny. This is a uh, Caron Simply Soft, which is practically the same. They feel the same. I can use them together. Um, in color work and there you can't really tell but I've been looking for this color because it's my favorite color um, yeah it's kind of a Tiffany blue which is one of my favorite colors and this one is actually called Robin's egg which it reminds me of a Robin's egg uh, the Caron simply soft is 100% acrylic also medium four weight also kind of a light four weight um, yards oh 315 yards so it has like four more yards than the loops and threads soft and shiny oh boy <laughs> it is more expensive but I wanted the color so all right so this week I bought a brand new set of crochet hooks and it is a whole it's a large set. Um, let me get my notes because I have uh, prices here. Okay, so I'm going to kind of compare and tell you about some other hooks in comparison to the, this one that I recently got. So I'm going to start with the, um, let's see, what I bought. What I bought is this. Um, it is an ergonomic hook by Yarn Mania, and I just want to kind of, I'm going to go over um, some other hooks real quick before I get to that one, just because I have used m many other kinds of hooks. I mean, not a fair amount for myself. So when I started out crocheting, my grandma taught me with a standard let me get it here boy okay I mean I use this since I was five years old boy hooks are my you know favorite shape hook a nice tip always slick they never have little gouges on them but now that I crochet a lot more the small diameter it, it just doesn't work for me anymore it's hard on my hands and my shoulders after a little while so then after that I went on Amazon um, I think it was let me check here um, these Amazon hooks that I bought they're no longer this exact set is not available because I bought these in uh, 2018 on I think it was like a Black Friday deal because I got a set of 12 of them, which is um, what I have here. Sizes 2 through 8, 12 sizes for $11.44. So these ones, let me grab, let me grab one here. So these ones are all, they have this 
kind of a rubber handle. They have the same basic shape head as the boy, except um, some of them, the head is very flat, so you can't, it doesn't have any sort of point. I mean, it's flat, flat, and my friend Michaela over at Hooked in the Flash she has the same the same set and one of hers i think it's our, our might be our 6.5 now i can't remember which number hers is that's flat but i mean mine is pointed on mine and hers is just just looks like someone smashed the end so they're not <laughs> they're not all the same these uh, they're okay hooks they're good the handles are nice and grippy they don't they haven't fallen off or anything um, problems that I have um, a lot of them have little pieces little metal pieces that I've had to try to sand because they um, catch on my yarn all the time the other problem that I have with these hooks it's super frustrating and it's I mean, maybe it's just silly but so every single hook has a totally different size handle. Now these all came from the same the same set but each handle is totally different. Yeah, the other they are large but okay the the largest one I have is really bulky and the smallest one I have is almost this yeah I mean it's pretty close to the same size as a boy hook so it's not it's not super easy to use. So, not my favorite hooks. <laughs> they, it's nice because they were inexpensive. There's a lot of options, lots of different sizes in there. Um, then, recently, from um, Teaselwicks, my favorite shop in town, Teaselwick Wools, I um, ordered these gonna get better at this I promise so I ordered boop that's upside down <laughs> chow goo there we go some chow goo crochet hooks okay these these heads are so so smooth on them I mean they're nice they remind me of um, how smooth their um, knitting needles are, which I love. Um, the handles are very nice, easy to hold on to. The, the only thing that I personally, personally don't like, um, puff stitches are crowded. They get crowded on the the, the head of it. Um, also, the, I don't know if you can see it, so I, uh, I hold like a pencil, so it's a little short, <laughs> it's nothing terrible, and they're very light, so light, kind of like a little bit more heft maybe, but I mean they're super comfortable, super slick. If I wasn't doing puff stitches or anything like that, these are perfect, perfect, perfect just you can't buy a whole set you have to buy them individually um and let's see you can oh okay so the chow goo they have all bamboo so the whole thing is bamboo um they also have uh, tunisian hook sets where i think they're all interchangeable i i don't know about that these ones, specifically with the bamboo handle and the metal top, they come in sizes 0.6 millimeter to 2.75 millimeter. Those ones have a nickel head, and I don't have any of those um, smaller sizes to, to feel if they're any different. I think, I'm pretty sure Michaela, yeah, she has a smaller one, and I think she said it feels the same. I don't know that you can really tell, and I don't know why it's nickel, maybe because they're smaller stronger and then um, the they have this aluminum kind um, comes in three 
millimeter all the way up to yeah six millimeter now these you can get on Amazon individually the price ranges are all over the place um, I couldn't really tell if it was a size thing and I don't I don't think that's what it is um, the price ranges went all the way from 578 a hook all the way up to 1495 for one one hook um, average they're averaging like eight to ten dollars maybe if you bought all the sizes and I and I didn't check and see actually if they had all of the sizes that Chiago's website says that they have and I don't think you can order from directly from Chiago so those that's that and actually I'll just show you I keep all my loose crochet hooks in this really cute little uh, bag and it's actually <laughs> it's actually to go into a binder for pencils but my needle my hooks fit in there really nice I fold down the sides and it's flat on the bottom so I can just open it up set it on the table and rifle through there it has these cute little double-sided pocket which is super small I don't have anything in there because I just keep my crochet hooks in there so I got that at Target at school time I think you can get these on Amazon probably so that brings me to what I just purchased this week which is uh, do 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 and it's not gonna show up it's hard to see anyway because this bag is metallic but this is yarn mania I got them through Amazon they do have a website you can pur purchase the hooks through the website now I ordered the light pink second generation basic kit okay so I, I ordered the basic kit $24.99 um, supposed to have one handle nine hook heads um, some other things in here but huh, when I opened it, when I opened it, <laughs> I had this little pouch, which wasn't supposed to be in here, but I've seen other reviews of the same thing, and I know what was inside, and I was super excited and kind of like, what's going on? So this is not supposed to come in the kit. I'm just letting you know now. I don't know why mine came with it. I have no idea. Maybe they started doing that. I'm not going to say that they do, but I just happen to get the extra bag. Okay, so let me just real quick show you. So it comes with a little wrench. It has nine hooks. Oh my gosh. So my, <laughs> has a charger. Darn it. Because it has... Too bright in here. A light. Oh yeah. See? Two off. There's bright, dimmer, and then off. And so it has a charger and it has this handle. I'm gonna show you real fast how it comes off. Super, super easy. You just take the little wrench that comes with it, you twist it, and then boop, pops off. And then you can pop off you know pop on whatever size you need um, this comes with uh, this set that I did purchase is supposed to come with 2.5 through 6.5 nine different heads um, ergonomic handle light up handle which in the dark it is so bright it is like a little mini flashlight <laughs> um, it is directional it doesn't glow out so it is probably more for if you're using dark yarns and actually I think when I went to the website um, the story behind it I think was to light um, dark yarns which it does I have a dark yarn that I'm working on for my pattern and this lit up my stitches really well so 
then uh, I'm going to tell you about the hooks in just a second and the handle. So uh, the bonuses that I got that I wasn't supposed to get a little <laughs> scissor. <laughs> and I don't know if you can hear that, but here, let me see. Boom. <laughs> it's so sharp. These are extremely sharp. They're so sharp and it does not have any sort of safety mechanism. So I cannot keep these where my kids are. I wouldn't recommend keeping those where my kids are. Um, I also, so it is supposed to, mine came with the pink um, little hand guard on it. This came with that light blue and a yellow and a red. It also comes with a little, mine came with a little fabric tape measure. <laughs> which this is so funny it came with a whole container of darning needles I mean there's probably eight or ten of them in there which is funny because I just bought a whole bunch of those and then it comes with the little you know the little free um, stitch markers that you find all over the place then <laughs> it came with in the little bag three more crochet heads and this is uh, a 2.0 a 7 and then an 8 so I didn't get nine crochet hook heads I got 12 I, I have no idea I have no idea um I was flabbergasted but there you have it, I got it. Okay, so bring me to my little mini review. Okay, so the, the crochet hook is just the right size. It has actually just this smallest little point at the end. It's which is so nice. It has a nice head similar to a boy. It's so smooth. It is so smooth. It's smooth um, like the Chow Gu um, crochet hook. Um, the handle is comfortable. So, but, okay, the butt. Oh, the light is great. Boop. Um, mo <laughs> most people, I think this is how they hold it, no, they hold it, I don't know, like a knife, you know, I, I don't hold it like a, a knife, I hold it like a pencil, so it's comfortable, it's light, I have used it for the past three days, it's very comfortable, so um, the only thing is, is because of the nice long head, my fingers are very far away from being able, I like to hold my yarn on here sometimes. It's kind of awkward, but I've been using it for three days exclusively and I've only been crocheting. I haven't been knitting. My hand doesn't hurt. Um, funny enough, my other one, my other, my left one is a little sore <laughs> from holding yarn, but my hand isn't sore, so I like them. I'm gonna use them. I just wish the heads were just a little shorter, but that's it. So, alrighty. Thank you so much for joining me. Sorry, this episode was teeny tiny bit longer than I expected. Um, um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and come over to Instagram. Follow along with me. Again, Sprinkle Liquid Sunshine. My name is Christina. Bye.